welcome everybody. Uh, this is Brandon Benjamin here getting ready to do another review. Um, today I'm going to do a special review on uh, something I just got. It was about uh, 30, about probably 15 minutes ago. The uh, UPS man just brought it. And um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a real big fan of Harry Potter. And I collect a lot of the stuff. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been doing any reviews on the uh, Star Wars FX lightsabers lately. I've been pretty much busy. Um, I'll tell you why once I finish the review. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and let's get started with this review. Today, I'm going to be showing you Lucius Malfoy's walking stick from Harry Potter. Yes, this is the actual replica, and I got it from Noble's collection. Like I said, it arrived about um, 15, maybe 30 minutes ago. Um, it just it came in a box. Uh, I was going to do an unboxing, but uh, I was too excited to, uh, to actually do an unboxing. I wanted to get it open and actually look at it. So, this is it. This is Lucius Malfoy's walking stick, and it has the green eyes on it, both sides, and green emerald eyes. Um, I'm not sure if it's sterling silver or not, if the snake head is sterling silver. I'm not quite sure, but um, it looks like it's sterling silver, but I'll tell you one thing for sure. It's a fingerprint magnet. I mean, this thing picks up a whole bunch of fingerprints, so... If you got like a cleaning cloth or something, like I said, for a PSP, or if you use something to clean off your FX lightsabers, like a cleaning cloth, um, that would definitely work for this uh, cane right here. Um, if you're not really a big fan of Harry Potter um, and don't really notice, but Lucius Malfoy's cane is also a wand. Um, I will show you that in a couple of minutes. But let's admire some of the details on the, uh, the handle of the cane. As you can tell, it has these little lumps right here. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it has like these little lumps on the cane, and um, also has like these little indentions, I guess you can say, on right here on the cane. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has like little indentions right there on the cane, and um, now by the way, these teeth, the teeth are very sharp. So if you have little children, I suggest they don't play with these. Or whatever, because uh, these are pretty highly dangerous and very. Um, it's, a, it's also a very heavy uh, cane and wand, so I suggest no kids like play with this. I probably recommend this for probably uh, kids who are um, maybe 13 and up. You know, maybe 13 and up. But um, the cane is 60, not 60. I'm sorry, 46 and a half inches, and the wand is 18 inches. Um, here's a size comparison. I don't know if you guys can really see me, but I'll stand up on this a little bit. The cane actually stops to my waist, um, and I stand uh, about six foot two. So you can imagine how, if you're six foot two, and if you have this cane, you probably know how tall it is compared to you. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and let's get to the wand. The only thing you have to do is simply twist and pull out. And here is Lucius Malfoy's wand. If you're not familiar with this wand, you've probably seen it in uh, the Chamber of Secrets where he was using it against Dubby the house elf and Harry because Harry lost Lucius Malfoy his servant. If not that, you probably have also seen this wand in the Order of the Phoenix where he... Um, was dueling Sirius Black and Harry Potter. And the wand, like I said, is 18 inches. 18 inch wand. And, you know, it's very nice. I really like it. You know, that it's very spot on. They they got the replica just like uh, Lucius Malfoy's wand in the movie. Very, very nice wand. Very beautiful, and I really like it. And it's also very heavy. It's pretty heavy. Well, I wouldn't say very heavy, but it's, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. If you compare it to the Motorola Droid phone, how heavy that phone is, and compare it to this, it's heavier than the Motorola Droid. Put it that way. It's a lot heavier. But it's real nice, though. I really like the green eyes on it. As you can tell, the little green crystal eyes. And yes, by the way, if any of my friends from school are watching this, you will see this cane at prom and my wand at prom. Because I'm coming in with a uh, either an all red suit or maybe a black suit. I'm right. I'm really not sure yet, but um, you will see this cane at prom. This is something I will have. But anyway, this 
is the Lucius Malfoy's walking stick and wand. And I like I said, I got this um I got this from Noble Collections. You can get these canes and replicas or wands from Noble Collections. Let me stand back for you. For no, from Noble Collections, Noble Collections carry them. Um, if not from Noble Collections, you can also go to Museum Replicas. They also carry them. Um, Japan also have like these knockoff versions, but you know they're pretty good. Uh, I've seen uh, qualities. Um, I mean not qualities. Uh, pictures and videos of the uh, wands and stuff in Japan, and they are pretty uh, good replicas. Um, I do have some more canes on the way. Um, I have ordered uh, all 22, and they're supposed to be arriving soon. Um, Harry Potter's wand I've ordered. Professor Lupin's I've ordered. Um, Draco Malfoy Dumbledore's, which is the Elder Wand. Professor McGonagall's Voldemort's, of course. Um, Sirius Black's, Snape's, just everybody's I ordered. Everybody's. Um, like I said, I'm a real big collector, and um, they should be arriving very soon. Um, if not today, they'll probably be here tomorrow. Um, I also ordered other stuff um, from the Noble Collections and Museum Replicas. Um, I'm also ordering the uh, Nimbus 2001. Um, there was a guy on uh, U um, YouTube who actually did a video on that. Um, I don't know his uh, screen name or his YouTube username, but um, he actually did some good reviews on that. So if you type in 2000, I mean, uh, yeah, the 2001 Nimbus or... Um, the firebolt from Harry Potter. Um, you'll probably see some reviews that he had on there, but they're uh, they're pretty good. I plan to get those. Let me make this clear also. Um, Florida, um, Universal Studios Florida is opening up the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I plan to go down the grand opening. I cannot wait. Me and my friend Sean, who y'all usually see with me on here on uh, doing our little show, he and I are supposed to go down there and um, uh, see that. I heard that. Um, I heard some rumors, but I'm not sure. I heard that J.K. Rowling was going to be there for the grand opening and. Um, um, Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grant, and Emma Watson. So I really hope to see them there. I think that's going to be cool. Um, and more of the other stars. But the main reason why I haven't been uploading videos lately, and I'm sorry that I haven't for the um, Star Wars fans with the lightsabers, um, I'm sorry that I haven't uh, been uploading any videos because I've been busy actually writing a book. Yes, you heard me correctly. I am writing a book. Um, I plan to publish it very soon once I'm done. It's going to be kind of like Harry Potter and uh, Chronicles of Narnia, um, if you're real big fans of those, um, or superhero movies or whatever. But um, I'm planning on doing a book, and I plan to publish it very soon once I'm done. Um, I'm not going to give away the title just yet. Um, I'll probably give away the title when it's close to time for it to actually be published. But um, I am doing uh, a book on Egyptians, like um, the Egyptian gods, like Ra and Anubis. Horus, Isis, um, and etc., etc. Um, and it's going to be, it's, it's a pretty good action book. It's kind of like Percy Jackson and the Olympians. So, um, I don't know if the author, whoever wrote Percy Jackson and the Olympians, if you're watching this, I don't know if you're a fan of YouTube, but I would love to collaborate with you one day if uh, this book actually gets, if my book actually gets published and uh, get out there in the world. I really want to work with you and make a, a book in the one and uh, do something pretty cool. But anyway, I'll get into that later. Um, but yes, I, I am publishing a book. It will be out um, probably a couple of months from now once I get it published because everybody knows it's a process to uh, publish books. But um, I will upload another video letting you guys know um, how I'm doing with the book. And if you want to know any questions about the cane or my lightsabers or the wands at all, just message me on YouTube and I'll do my best to answer your questions. This is Brandon Benjamin, and I'm signing off. Thanks for watching the review on Lucius Malfoy's walking stick.